Hey guys, <clears throat> how's it going? I'm in Germany. This is Hamburg, and I'm on the world famous Reeperbahn. Don't know if you've heard of it. It's one of the most famous red light districts in Europe from back in the 70s. It's a shadow of its former self, apparently. But we're here. We're curious, we're live, we're in Hamburg, it's like a throwback to the 1970s, groups of piss heads all over the place, sex shops, brothels, Germans, yeah that's is good yeah, oh enjoy. This is my first time down the road, so it's the first time for you, first time for me. There's Susie Show Bar, there's a Dolls Club, Dolls House, Beach Club, a few other sex show places. As you can see, it's a bit, it's a bit beaten up. I was expecting it to be quite modern and progressive but it's just like it's stuck in a time warp but it's got that's the beauty of it I guess I should find out the more time I spend here I've just arrived I've been here for about an hour unpacked my stuff I'm staying up on top of this place here it's pretty cool so I'm right on the strip, I think that's what they call it. And I'm staying in the middle of the road because apparently you're not allowed to record people. So yeah, there's some law in Germany about personal space or something like this. So I'm trying to avoid filming anybody directly and just filming the street which I think you are allowed to do and if I'm not then obviously the polizia is gonna come and stop me and speak with me and that should make for a more interesting video to maybe some of my past videos but fun nonetheless so let's keep rolling and let's keep the uh, show on the road as they say. So this is St. Pauli, the Reaper Barn, that's the name of the road, the area St. Pauli is in Hamburg. It's on the S1 tube stop. So you can get the train or the tube here which is what I did directly from the airport pretty, pretty wacky place I'm sure it's going to be a lot of fun on the weekend apparently there's lots of stag do's, hen do's and all that type of fun stuff going on over the weekend right, let's see how far we can go up the road without getting run over because the cars are going in the other direction so I need to keep my wits about me while I'm walking um, yeah so as you can see these people are like a throwback to 1980s Camden Town Cool. I don't know what's up there. Maybe I'll go up there a bit later. See, so I've got this woman turning. So I have to be careful. I'll wait until the traffic clears. Got KFC. Okay. 
nice and burger bars lots of food outlets i guess it gets quite popular of the evening lots of drunk people lots of people drinking alcohol non-stop shop i guess that's a 24 hour shop to buy alcohol from sexy devil if you want to buy your partner some sexy lingerie or maybe just for yourself right, this is a that's a nice building right in front of us and then you've got the old with the police station and the st Pauli theater and some nice architecture German architecture well, I don't understand anyway mate so if you're angry you're angry at the wrong person because I ain't got the fucking foggiest what you say there's some streets down there nice I love the architecture in Germany it's, I think Germany always works better in monochrome for some reason that's what I think Right, so there's a grill. So I guess there's lots of Turkish places. So there's a, quite a few kebab shops that I've seen already. I haven't been to Germany for quite some time. I think the last time I was in Germany was in 2008, and I was in Berlin. Berlin's beautiful. A lot of history, a lot of culture. I don't remember much because it was 15 years ago. Uh, some more weird, crazy drunk dropouts. Uh, I guess the homelessness in Hamburg is really high from what I was reading. There's lots of shelters and places for them to go to get help. So it's an endemic really of the area. A lot of people who are hard up, out of sorts, probably struggling with mental health issues. Obviously with housing, I've seen quite a lot of people on the street sleeping rough already and I've only been here an hour. So, I don't know what's up here, there's a nice building. I don't speak German. Sprachen uh, Deutsch. Uh, steak and fish house. So. China restaurant. Chinese restaurants. Beach bar. I don't know how far this road runs, but we can go a little bit further, maybe up to this new build tower place that they got and this is St Pauli the Reaper Barn during the daytime day walk I guess it would be very different in the evening in the night I'll try and do an evening video I don't think my camera is up to it I do have a new camera so hopefully when I get that going, I can do more night photography. This is the Cowboy Indiana. And it looks quite busy. That's the busiest place I've seen so far. Uh, yeah, it just seems like the place has been neglected and just left to its own devices and no one seems to care no one seems to be concerned about what's going on other than if you're causing a nuisance antisocial behavior and i guess then they're right on you and they'll be arresting you for public disorder acts uh, yeah first impressions count I guess 
and they haven't been the best so far and we always try to make the most and the best of the situation and circumstances we find ourselves in this is what's in front of us so let's investigate let's discover let's try and find things out about the area and what's going on locally oh yeah that's another trip i just had a trip within my trip across the road here because the central pathway ends so I'm going to go on to this one side and try not to disturb too many people Tex Barbecue Casino so another homeless person carrying all this stuff with them so I think alcoholism is a Another big concern, but I don't think anyone seems to care. And at the other end, there's the five guys. There's the five guys to show up on the Reaper van. No McDonald's, it's all Kentucky Fried Chicken. Five guys, no McDonald's, no Burger King. No Pizza Hut. Uh, maybe we'll see some somewhere else. Uh, I don't know what that is. This looks weird. It's like this kind of structure just in the middle of the square on the roundabout. answers on a postcard what that structure is there for doesn't seem to go any oh okay maybe it's the underground or the u-barn so you can go down the stairs uh -huh. and this is home of rock and roll ooh, ooh, maybe i'll come here later i'm a bit of rock and roll this guy's doing a walking tour it's in German, so I can't hear or listen. Understand. So, oh, that's the Hamburg football stadium. That's where Hamburg is playing out from. Playing their games. Are Hamburg in the top division anymore? I don't even know if Hamburg are in the top division. Stadium. Rock Tower. Is that a park? I think there's a park there. We go into. Right. I think I'm going to go and cross this road. I'm going to end this video here. That's the Reaper Barn, Germany, Hamburg, Red Light District, throwback to the 70s, back to the future. If you like oldie worldy things, then yeah, make sure you come to Hamburg, make sure you come to the Reaper Barn. Okay guys, I'll speak to you a bit later.